Are you considering moving to Rogers and wondering what it's like to live here? Well, so much has happened since I did the original pros and cons of living in Rogers video a couple years ago that I decided it was time to do an updated version. Hi, I'm Eric Eby with HomeQuest Realty, and on this channel we talk about everything related to Northwest Arkansas. So if you were into that, make sure you click on the subscribe button above. Now, let's see what makes the list this year. The first pro of living in Rogers is that it is centrally located within Northwest Arkansas. Rogers is located right next to Bentonville, so many of the people who work for Walmart or one of their suppliers live in Rogers. Everything you would ever need is in Rogers. Grocery stores, restaurants, shopping, hospitals, entertainment and outdoor activities are all plentiful here in Rogers. If you did feel the need to get out and then go explore more of Northwest Arkansas, Bella Vista is only about 15-20 minutes north and Fayetteville is about 25 minutes south of Rogers, so it's not too far to go out and check other places out. The next pro of living in Rogers is that there are a lot of things to do here. Well, we've got several popular chain restaurants near Interstate 49 and there's even more locally owned restaurants all throughout town that I'd put up against any of those chains every day of the week. The Pinnacle Hills Promenade has all of your favorite retail stores and the downtown area has even more local artisan shops. Do you like entertainment, events, or outdoorsy activities? Well, the Walmart Arkansas Music Pavilion brings in some awesome concerts and comedy shows every year. Then you also have Top Golf, Dave & Buster's, Fast Lanes, and a couple movie theaters in Rogers as well. The Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue Motorcycle Rally, which has traditionally been held in Fayetteville in late September every year, is now moved up to Rogers starting this year. The next pro of living in Rogers is the revitalization of the downtown area that has taken place since my last pros and cons video. There are a lot of cool local bars, restaurants, and shops in the downtown area with more coming soon. The Rail Yard Park is a really cool addition to the downtown area and is a cool spot for families to come hang out with an awesome playground for the kids. Rail Yard Live starts up this year as well, which is Northwest Arkansas's newest outdoor venue in downtown Rogers, and it's going to feature some really cool shows every Friday and Saturday night. And then, don't forget that the Rail Yard Bike Park is also right down the street. The Rail Yard Bike Park is a world-class bike park with various elements that riders of all ages and skill levels can enjoy. The last pro I'll mention is the affordability of housing in Rogers. Now, as of the filming of this video, you could still buy a nice three bed, two bath, 1700 square foot house on about a quarter of an acre lot for around $275,000. Now that's a huge difference from my previous pros and cons video in 2019, where that same house would have cost you about $210,000. While the current residents of Northwest Arkansas are feeling a little bit of sticker shock when they go shopping for houses, people from the larger metro areas that are moving here are amazed at what their money can buy. Now let's talk about the cons of living in Rogers. Now, in my last video, the first con that I mentioned was that nobody who lives in Rogers thinks that there is anything wrong with living in Rogers, and no cons at all. And that's definitely still the case with the people who live here, but I wanted to try for some actual cons on this video. Actual con number one. Rogers, like most of Northwest Arkansas, does not have much of a public transportation system. So if you are moving here from a large city where you are able to walk or ride a bike or you rely on public transit to get where you're going, you're probably going to be a little upset because you're going to have to buy a car when you move to Northwest Arkansas. Another con of living in Rogers is that while it's probably the most spread out city in Northwest Arkansas, it doesn't have a bypass or one road that goes conveniently through it without going through a million intersections. So you can take a little while to get from one side of town to the other, depending on the time of day. Now one thing that the city has done to help with the flow of traffic is they're building traffic circles. Traffic circles can be good if the people going through the traffic circle can drive, but if you watch my video on the updated Bentonville pros and cons, uh, you know that we just don't have great drivers here for the most part. Now, the last con 
con about living in Rogers is still that there are no retail alcohol sales in the city limits on Sundays. Now you can always go to a bar or restaurant to get a drink, but if you're looking to drink elsewhere, you're gonna have to go up to the Missouri border, which is about 25 minutes away, or down to Springdale, about 20 minutes south, um, to pick up your beer, wine, or liquor at a store. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight on whether moving to Rogers is a good option for you or not. If you have any additional questions about the area or our local real estate market, please reach out and ask. My contact information has been scrolling across the bottom. Thanks for watching another episode of Naturally NWA. I'm Eric Eby with HomeQuest Realty. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button above. And for more information on living in Rogers or any other city in Northwest Arkansas, check out some of my other videos or visit my website at www.naturallynwa.com. Thanks for watching.